Sometimes with test automation, you just want to check things on one page. But at other times, you want an automated test that runs through a workflow or a user journey. For example, you might want to look at a checkout workflow. If you have items in a cart, you want to make sure customers can progress through the entire checkout process. Test Project can help with setting up and maintaining a test like this. Let's take a look at an example. For this example, we're going to use a site called automationpractice.com, and this is just a fake e-commerce site that we can use to practice automation testing on. Now, the first thing that we'll need if we want to test a checkout workflow is to make sure that we have something in our cart. Test Project has a pretty cool feature that makes it really easy to reuse tests. You can imagine that you might want to create a few checkout tests and you want them each to start with an item in the cart. So I've created a test for this. This test adds a t-shirt to the cart for us. You can see it just goes to the application, it clicks on the t-shirt link, and then it goes over the image and adds it to the cart. So now that I have this test, I can actually use it as a starting point for my checkout test. So let's go back here and let's add a new test. We'll create a web test and let's call it checkout workflow. We'll use uh, the automation practice site and we'll use the recorder to start recording. Now with the test recorder open, we can just delete this first navigation step here and we'll replace it with the other test that we had. So let's add a step. And here under the type, instead of element action, we'll choose the type test. And then we'll select a test. So we'll add the t-shirt to cart. We'll use that test. And we'll go ahead and create this test step. Test project has automatically run that test step for us. And you can see that an item has been added to the cart for us. We all know that reuse is important in test automation as it allows you to save time both in test setup and in maintaining tests over time. So this really is a neat, powerful little tool that Test Project provides us. Now that we have an item in our cart, we can click on Proceed to Checkout button to test the workflow that we're looking at. And this brings us to the summary page. There's a few different things that you might want to do here. For example, you might want to delete something or you might want to continue shopping or you might want to proceed to checkout. And once again, this illustrates the power of being able to reuse a test inside of another test. We could use the add to cart test as a basis for a test for each of those workflows. In our case though, we just want to try out a linear workflow, so we'll click on the proceed to checkout button. And this brings us to the sign in page. Now there's actually a couple of places in the application that use this page. For example, we could sign in up here as well, and that would bring us to the same page. I've created a test that will do the sign in on any of those pages, so we can just add that here. So let's go over to our test recorder and we'll add a step. And once again, we'll just change this to be a test. We'll select a test and this time we'll select the sign in test as the one that we want to use and we once again create that uh, test step and you can see that it automatically runs it for us, it fills out the form and takes us to the next page. So on this page we can just scroll down and click on proceed to checkout. On the next page we can agree to the terms of service and then proceed to checkout again. And with that we've created a workflow test. You can see how Test Project is a powerful tool for doing this kind of testing. The test recorder, of course, makes it easy to set up a multi-page test like this, but there's also real power in the way that Test Project enables reuse of tests and elements within a project. This approach helps you, as the test automator, to write tests that are resilient to change and makes it much more likely that these tests will continue to be valuable and easy to update as the application evolves. Creating automated tests that set up a user journey can be difficult, but Test Project really does provide you with the functionality you need to make this as effective as possible.